today I'm here with a new video and today I am doing a palette bingo. It has been such a long time since I did a palette bingo, like I can't even remember when I did one last. And the palette I'm going to do it with is the Eternal Eclipse from Luna Beauty. I did a first impression a week ago maybe. I don't know when this is coming up. But this is a new palette to me, or this is a new palette that came out in November. But yeah, I want to play more with this because I really liked it in my first impression and I want to test it out. So I'm doing a palette bingo today and I think I also will try to do a two looks one palette soon with this. So if you didn't know, it got a 15 pants like this. It is a neutral blue cold tone grayish palette and I'm going to take five shades and if you don't know how a palette bingo works I'm going to random.org and pick out five colors so yeah we will see I sh maybe should have gone into random.org before but have I and uh, maybe I have not so I'm going to draw the shades first then look in the palette and then swatch them for you so we will random and I think you can see this maybe I should zoom in a little bit Maybe that is too much. So do you see one two fifteen? So we render nine Nine again Twelve nine twelve Fifteen do you, do you see it? Six And eight Okay, so here is 9, 12, 15, 6, and 8. So I put it like... This is like one of the reasons why I don't do palette bingo because this is no fun. So the shades I got was dust. Can you see? Dusk, Sandstorm, Summer Sky, Smoke, and Night Sky. So I will stare at this a kind of boring swatch for a while. And then we will see what I'm going to do. So I am going to start with... <laughs> sandstorm and Dusk in my crease. And if I'm going to be honest, I'm a little bit disappointed with the colors I got, but you know what? This is a palette bingo and I can't choose and that is like the point with the palette bingo. And I think I'm going to do like the obvious look, but you know what? <laughs> this year, okay, I can't like do all my videos to get rid with me. But this year I really want to like let go of I shouldn't do this and just do whatever and do whatever looks I feel like. And also I have to remember just because I think this is the obvious choice not everybody feels that. So nothing wrong with this dusk. I don't think it's a unique shade for this palette but It's a nice shade at least, so that is good. And then I want to deep down my crease a bit, so I'm going in with Sandstorm. Just to uh, have this shade out of the way, <laughs> and mostly, and just to make it a little bit darker. Sometimes with a palette bingo I think you just have to do stuff like this, just to like have the shadow out all the way and I would have loved for maybe a little bit more shimmer I think the night sky I think it's like the dark one that I got is <laughs> when I blend it I think the shimmer will fade away we will see because I'm soon grabbing it so now I'm going in with Night Sky and Smoke on my lid 
And I'm going to take Night Sky out here. Maybe, I don't know how much, actually. I think I will just start and we will see like how it looks on the eye. And then see what I feel like. And I took a little bit more fluffy brush. I don't know if that is a good thing or a bad thing for this shade. They have a lot of kick up. Some shimmer is on the brow. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, it is... Uh, I'm, I'm going to be honest, it's not my favorite when it comes to black shadows when they have a shimmer that like blends away. Um, and you see my fallout. Oh my god, this was so freaking black. But it's not like black, it's got like, it's not pitch, pitch black, it's got like a... I have to look really close because I think I might need glasses, but I'm... Uh, I don't want to know, so I just don't check okay i guess i'm doing a smoky eye a gray smoky eye and okay this black was amazing i'm coming back to the black later and now i'm going to take smoke on the rest of my load and we will see how this looks looks really good so far i wish that i had gotten like the dark blue lagoon instead Because if you have been for a while, you know that grey is not my favorite when it comes to eyeshadows. I just think that grey is a pretty boring color. And I was a little bit worried, like in my crease, with this grey one. Because I think my crease is a little bit warmer than the grey, but I wanted to save the coal, more coal tone shadow to my lower lash because I was like that is going to show much more than the grey. Maybe that was a stupid idea. Okay. But this grey, this was so pigmented and it feels like I can go over to or over the black and it like it lays over the black a little bit and I guess that that is a really good that is really good for a grey one okay maybe maybe I like this grey things is happening this year but okay now I'm going into the black again and I'm just dipping in my brush and then press it on and I will see if any of the glitters in here can stick. No. Okay, now I'm going to maybe sound a little bit stupid. Am I supposed to be able to use the glitter specs? Okay, maybe now. But these are going to fall off and going to fall on my face. But I would really love it to have some like should I sheet? No. No. No, no. No, I'm not. Okay, I really do like this really dark and smoky eye. I'm just going in with my brush that I had to deepen down my crease with no additional colors and just go over everything. it felt like I had a pretty like hard edge on this eye. I think it's much easier to do makeup on my right eye, I guess because I'm right-handed. I would love if I could like train, okay, <laughs> train to use both my hands when I'm playing makeup. I can apply my I can apply mascara with my left hand, but that's about it. 
Okay, I really love this dark smoky. So I'm going to take away <laughs> this crazy amount of fallouts, fix my base, trying to decide if I want to sheet or not because I think it would look so good to take like a shade from my Moondust palette from Urban Decay and just tap it on a little bit like taking a blue or something, a blue shimmer. But I don't think I will do that because I usually don't sheet in this video. <laughs> But you never know. You just make it easy on my lower lash. I'm going to go in with Summer Sky and Might Night Sky. <laughs> I don't know because I want to deep down. Um, or Smoke because I don't know if Night Sky is going to be like crazy amount of fallouts. We will see how brave I feel. Do I want to risk to fuck this up just to take night sky? Yes. So I'm going in with my brush and tap it off like a crazy person. Maybe nothing is left. A lot is left. Oh my God. This dark, dark shade. The pigments is amazing. Fuck. 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 What did I do? I don't know. I had black on my finger and did forgot about that. Poop. So for my watch line, I want to go in with a gray. But honestly, I don't know if I have a gray. I have like a silver from Colourpop. Okay, do you know what? I'm actually going in with a black and this. I have a lot of different blacks, but I'm going to take this from Colourpop that is Swirly were we and it was a long time ago since I used a black in my waterline okay this wasn't that dark maybe it's a little bit dry because I I have never used it it actually came in a kit I have also this waterproof long-lasting from Urban Decay perversion I think glide on eye pencil okay let's try it I haven't tried this and it feels like I'm 14 again. Um, I will put on my mascara, take a lipstick to this, and uh, then the look is finished. I just realized why I don't like grayish looks. Because I don't know what to have for lipstick. This is my fourth lipstick that I'm putting on, and I'm just I'm just going with this because my lips are so sore. So this is frick. Freaking Freck from Colourpop, it's an ultra satin lip. And this is my finished palette bingo look. I really liked how it turned out. I like that it is so dark and I really love the... Night Sky, it's so like deep and I don't know if I would say that it is a blue, no, a black, not a true black. It feels like it has some, I don't know, maybe it is a night sky. And a smoke, an amazing gray, and I don't like gray, but this worked like amazing and it even could like, it could lay on top over the night sky and I love that. And yeah, the other three <laughs> shades were in the neutral row in the middle. I think that Lunar Beauty does really good neutral shades, but it's nothing like I didn't buy this palette because of the neutral shades. And if you wonder if it sounds like I'm going like to cry, <clears throat> I, I really need to like... It is a little bit scary, like I am not back to my normal self yet. If I talk too much, it's like the voice, it, it, it stops and I have to like, and then it's back. But yeah, <laughs> this is my palette bingo look with the Eternal Eclipse from Lunar Beauty. As I said in the beginning, I will have a two looks one palette up with this. I don't know when it will be, but like right now I am in such a filming mood and I just love to sit down and film. So, yes. 
But this is the finished look. I really loved you like this video. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do. So you don't miss any of my videos. Bye! Bye!